It's the ultimate combination of kind of cheap, reliable, cool biology and personalized medicine. Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Temperton. I'm a research scientist at the University of Exeter and I study microbiology and I'm leading the Citizen Phage Library project. My name is Steve Mitchell. I'm a senior lecturer in molecular microbiology here at the University of Exeter. I'm Dr. Phil Mitchell-Moore. I am a respiratory consultant at the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital and an honorary senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School. I'm Dr. Julie Fletcher and I'm the research technician for the Citizen Phage project. So phages are naturally occurring predators of microbes. So they are these uh, basically nanoscopic style predators. They are viruses of bacteria. They're not viruses of human beings at all. They're very small and they do to bacteria what things like COVID and influenza do, do to us. They, they can destroy actually the bacteria. There is a massive problem with uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria at the moment. The projections of the impact of antimicrobial resistance in the next 30 years are absolutely frightening. Um, and there's going to be lots of ways that as a global population we look to address this. So obviously as phages are natural predators of bacteria, you can imagine how they might be useful to treat bacterial infections that are resistant to antibiotics. Phage therapy is a really promising tool to basically help us not only extend the life of our current antibiotics that we have, but also to create novel antimicrobials that we can then use. We can develop them cheaply uh, using this particular method and we can basically roll them out and, and specialise that treatment to that particular person. And these pathogens that are resistant to these antibiotics unfortunately seem to be prevalent in patients with chronic diseases. And what's beautiful about this project is we're working really closely with the clinicians at the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital who've got an interest in this and want to see this developed. Our cystic fibrosis unit and our bronchiectasis service combined will have over 400 patients. So just in this one hospital here, we'll have a large number of patients with infections that we aren't able to eradicate at the minute and are at the moment just trying to hold uh, with ongoing antibiotic therapy. So if you then think beyond Exeter, um, there's going to be enormous numbers of patients in the country who have these chronic lung infections which cannot be at present cleared by the antibiotics we're using. So the main, the main purpose of the System Phage Project and its primary impact is to, to basically build a UK capacity for phage therapy in the UK to meet the growing antimicrobial resistance threat that, that, we're, that we're currently having. And we thought the best way to do that is actually to reach out to citizen scientists to take as many samples from as many different sites as they possibly can and then we try and isolate phages for them. So we can build up a, rapid, a very rapid library of phages that we can then use to treat these uh, pathogens as they, as they emerge. I think what's really exciting is, is seeing that phage cause that plaque on the plate and seeing that big hole in the bacterial lawn and, and knowing that you've got something there can just knock the bacteria out. Um, also I think what's really exciting is, is potent, the potential for it to be um, perhaps a fairly short journey from, from pond to patients. One of the major advantages of phage therapy is firstly, phages are actually quite easy to identify. So you can go out to any environmental sample, you can probably find phages that infect a bacterial infection. Whereas it, for a standard sort of antibiotic, you're looking at maybe a 10 year pipeline and, and you know, tens of millions of pounds to develop uh, that in, into a drug. So phages are firstly cheap. And secondly, whereas your antibiotic is actually going to be targeting all the bacteria in, in your gut, so it will wipe out any of your kind of gut microbiome that we know is actually quite beneficial to human health, phages are highly specific. So they will bind to the surface of the pathogen itself and then kill that, but they will leave your kind of friendly bacteria behind. I think the, the biggest concern is uh, not convincing people, but um, changing awareness and current opinion uh, 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 of the idea of using a, a virus to treat a bacterial infection. Current, uh, current awareness is that viruses are not a good thing, but viruses against bacteria, you know, hopefully will be a solution to several diseases in the future.